Hello everybody, this is Sean and I've got Cisco with me. We're having our second of the um, civilian versions of the US military MREs. This is chicken with egg noodles and vegetables in sauce. Cisco is probably going to be taking the lead for most of this video because this is their dinner. The last one was actually my dinner that night. Or tonight, really. So let's get that open and onto the tray. See what we have. Oh, there's Deborah. Debra. Get off of there, Debra. She's been interested in this all night. But that's what can you do? First. Got some of the MRE crackers. They'll be the same as the ones in the last one. Got the ration heater. Hopefully this one works. The last one didn't heat up at all until about a half hour after we were done with filming. And it got lukewarm at best. Yep. Same We've accessories pack. Grape. Ooh, Beverage I'm powder. jealous, even though lime is my favorite one of them. Still feels very powdery. Okay. We've got a strawberry pop tart. Strawberry and pop tart. Toaster pastry. Or toaster pastry. I'm jealous about that. We've got some cheese spread. Cheese spread, which I'm incredibly happy about. I like the cheese spread far more than I like peanut butter. Yeah, I, like I grew up eating butter. cheese bread because my mother was allergic to peanut butter. So it's far superior as far as I'm concerned. I also get, instead of coffee, delicious cocoa beverage powder. Ooh. In this handy dandy little. Actually, I think you might have co coffee anyway in your uh, wow. little pack here. If you see up there, you get two hot beverages. I do not get an energy bar though. Oh, okay. So that's, that's the difference. Uh, I've got the Chicken, egg noodles, and vegetables. I'm not sure if you can make that out there. There it goes. There you go. In sauce. And then we've got some fried rice. There's the side. Okay. And those are the little cardboard things. I'll include a picture of those for anyone interested. And then next. So on to the accessories pack. Nothing really exciting. If you've seen one accessories pack, you've kind of seen them all. Yeah, this is the so, same as the one we just went through before. Salt, salt <laughs> pepper. Salt, pepper. Some sugar for our coffee and creamer. Both of which still feel perfectly good. And then kinda we got- jealous that you get two hot drinks. We get a fresh nap in there along with our napkin. Okay. We're gonna cut from here and then start working on that ration heater. Hopefully this one works. So we're just gonna open up the... If you wanna see the instructions, the same as in the last one. Pretty simple. Open fill it up fill. to the line here. And uh, wrap your thing in this, not put the thing your food in this, which is different from the actual military rations. A little odd, but okay. Take the food. And yeah. Okay. Wrap it. Wrap it up in there. Nice and tight. Use that coaster as a weight if you need to. Weight on there. And we're gonna see if anything happens on this one. We'll give it a couple of minutes. We'll give it, I don't know, let's say five. Alright, so we're just blind testing this at five minutes just to see if it's gotten at all warm. Um, the last one that we had was a dog warm ish at like 30 minutes. Um, this one is, uh, I mean, the pads check into there. It's that one's kind of, kind of warm. Okay. Well, so I we're going to pop these into some boiling water and we'll see you in 15. Now that it's spent 15 minutes and nice boiling water okay is that the chicken and noodles it is you can see it it's pretty yeah. dark in there but it is warm it smells pretty good it smells kind of like chicken soup um okay. with a little bit more spice that actually does look pretty good it smells good very very hot just gonna let that sit for a minute And then we've also got some fried rice. Now, I'm not sure if chicken with egg noodles and fried rice go 100% together, but this MRE seems to think so. So we will follow its MRE wisdom. 
and fry this out. Ooh, it's gelled like all the other fried rices that I've seen out of packs like this. Yep, yeah, came out nice and nice and clean there. Ooh. <clears throat> uh, okay, well, so I'm excited to give these things a try. Now that those are nice and toasty and out onto the tray. Let's give them a try without anything, and then we'll uh, add our condiments as necessary. <clears throat> now, because we're in a civilized world, I'm not required to use this, so we're going to use something a little bit more civilized, and we're going to go with with this. Tiny fork. It's not that tiny. We're going to get a nice big bite of everything here. Well, it's hot as... I'm going to steal a little bit of it myself. Hmm. See that there? Well, the chicken's got better texture than it does flavor. The flavor predominantly is in the sauce which has an overwhelming, just kind of chicken soupy kind of vibe. Um, the egg noodles are egg noodles. They're pretty good considering they came from a retort pouch. It's not the worst chicken soup I've had. It's on par with like no name brand um, canned chicken stew, basically, yeah. is, is what I would call it. It needs salt and pepper. It needs Tabasco sauce. Sad that none was included with this. But because we are in the civilized world, we are going to eat some with our Tabasco. Get I'm some stealing with Tabasco. some of the rice from first, but I'm not going to let you guys know my reaction until they, uh, until until I get a chance. Some, so let's have some of this almost black sticky looking rice. Mm. Bland and soy sauce. Bland and soy sauce needs hot sauce. Mix it with the chicken thing, it'll probably be good. Yeah, not bad. So, now that uh, we've had a couple of bites of those, we'll move out of the way for a moment. Get our, get our nice little plate out. We're going to have... Do we have any crackers? Yes, we do. We've got a cracker right here. And we're going to have some of that <clears throat> delicious cheese bread before I contemplate putting that all over the rice. Yes, I am a disgusting human being who's contemplating putting that on rice. You, you put peanut butter on a cookie in our last video. Uh, so there's that. And by the way, if you enjoy our video, please make sure you check out our other ration videos. Like, subscribe, share with your friends and everything. Uh, so, hit that little bell. These are incredibly Blaine. Blaine? They're incredibly Blaine crackers. Um, they have nothing on them. They're not salty. They're not delicious on their own. They're kind of boring little... Imagine a sky weight for without any flavor. Yep. It's a sky weight for without any flavor. And I just had some of those when we were filming the other video, and they're quite bland. No, I needed this previously, so salt no need. without the salt. No need to need. Right. Ooh, look at that bright orange cheese sauce. I'm sorry, it is the height of food right there. Actually, not really. Um, but it is pretty fantastic that we can make cheese in a tube that looks like that, that lasts almost forever. These in were the right packaged conditions. in October of 2014, I believe. Mm-hmm. That is some salty, salty cheese spread. That is a very fortified cheese spread. Mm-hmm. Which makes the very bland little cracker taste pretty good. Okay. What were you planning on having next? All right. Now that dinner's finished, we're just going to finish off with our delicious strawberry toaster pastry. Or, yeah, pop tart. Ooh, weird. Oh my god, it, it's... You opened both packages. Oh. It actually is a strawberry Pop-Tart in there. It's literally a strawberry Pop-Tart. And uh, we cut open that package at the same time as the other one. Which is pretty remarkable. Um, That's like pro stuff. Ooh, ooh, some interesting things have happened to this Pop-Tart. Oh, I do not want to eat this Pop-Tart. Oh, some interesting things have happened to the Pop-Tart over the uh, few years. Um, but... Of course, it's got six vitamins and minerals, so it's got to be good. And we only cut the very edge of the bag, so I'm thinking that maybe this was stuck in the bag. I'm zooming in a bit so you can uh, look at that. Yeah, some dirty goodness here. It's so, gone caramel color. Oh, well, the inside looks okay. Um... It might just be caused by heat on the outside. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't eat that myself, but that's that's up to you. 
Well, we'll find out if uh, we'll eat this if you want to continue watching and find out if I eat this Pop Tart in a moment. First, we're going to start out our drink, which from earlier in the video, if you don't remember, is delicious grape. That tore horribly. Mm, grapey goodness. Okay. And it's blue. What? Oh, that's just, uh, that's disconcerting. Blue grape. It's going purplish. You should stir that up and... That's my, hey, get that out of there. <laughs> it's mine. Get all of the delicious grape crystals. All right, so we've got our blue grape. It smells like grape, very uh, medicinal grape. Yeah, it smells like a Jolly Rancher mixed with some medicine. It tastes better than it looks. Um, the smell is stronger than the taste. I'm glad I made this weak. Um, so I put about you know, 10 ounces as opposed to 12, but it's not bad. It's, uh, it's kind of interesting. It's disconcerting having a grape flavor in a blue beverage, but you know, it's part of the thing. Yeah. Next up, we've got the cocoa beverage powder in its own fancy dancy bag that's really nicely shaped but not gusseted for some reason. Yeah, you couldn't stand that up and let it sit while you're having no. your food. The package has almost no smell to it. Eh, not sure if you can see in there at all. But uh, just kind of a chocolatey, milky smell to it. Um, not sure how we're going to really fill up to the line with hot water, but we'll, we'll give it our best shot. Oh god, you're trying it in the bag. Give it a boiling hot shake here. I think I'm going to add a little bit more water to that, but we'll see. Oh yeah, there's still some cocoa beverage stuck in the bottom corner here. But we'll get our initial reaction here. Hmm. Chocolatey. Mm. Thick chocolate flavor. Yep. I'm kind of jealous that I didn't get one of these in my pack as well. Pretty good. I did have that chocolate bar thing. The, uh energy bar it wasn't that bad but yeah overall this has been a fantastic ration little disappointed about that uh, popped right there but you can't win some <clears throat> and uh you know oh what the hell we'll just give give it a nibble oh that's more than that Ooh. how's that pop tart well Mm. Not great. Slightly regretting eating that. Tastes kind of stale. Not great. Overall, don't eat stale gross Pop-Tarts. Um, oh. Well, I, I hope you're okay later. Um, maybe we'll tell you in our next video if... If, if I if, die. Yeah. It, you'll learn if I'm single at that point, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, everyone, um, thank you for watching our video. Um, check out our other ones if you want to see them. Have a wonderful night.